Last time we talked a little bit about dynamic footwork. We talked about the importance of getting the outside foot to create pressure as opposed to the inside foot. Today we're going to talk a little bit about hip flexion and how to create hip flexion on the bicycle. One of the ways I can do that is by looking in the direction I want to go. And when I do this, I want to actually shine the front of my body in that direction to create flexion on my outside hip. A lot of times riders have trouble doing this in both directions. And in order to help them find their hip in both directions, I recommend trying a little drill with a one-footed turn where we're just standing at six o'clock on our outside foot and really feeling our hips rotate and feeling our hips engage. If I'm taking a flatland turn, I want to think more with my lower body. So I'm really thinking about my pelvis turning in and my belly turning in in the direction I want to go. On a really nicely supported berm turn, I'm going to think a little bit more with my heart because I'm leaning the bike and the rider over and really trying to drive through and create a lot of active energy out of the turn where there's good support. It's been really, really interesting trying to pinpoint why and what I'm, what sort of body mechanics I'm using to actually get to my turns, what I'm doing differently between each side, and really twisting the hips lets you open the knee, and it actually puts the weight where it needs to be without you thinking about it. And you notice when, I'm watch, when I watch videos of myself, you can really see my hips turning when I'm doing my, my left corners and not turning when I was doing my right corner. So really focusing on twisting the hips really just sets your body up and it takes all the thought out of it pretty much puts you in the natural position you need to be in the properly corner. So in summary, we want to turn our inside knee and head in the direction that we want to turn. And we want to follow with our, either our heart or our pelvic region. We're going to follow with our pelvic region in flatland turns or off camber turns and with our heart in berm turns where we're really trying to accelerate up the back of the turn. Go out and give this a try on your favorite trail, but also be sure to grab some cones, set up some cone drills, and really work on rotating those hips evenly in both directions.